Hey guys, so how often does this happen to you? You're 10 hours into a 15 hour print, you realize your filament's getting ready to run out. What do you do? You're tired of having all these little pieces left over, you're always buying a new roll to make sure that you have enough to do the next print. But what if I could show you a way that you could have unlimited filament, not worry about having a run out sensor, and just continue on with your print? Stay tuned, I'll show you how. So here is my new filament loader. Uh, this device that you see down here will allow for an unlimited or a uh, continuous amount of filament to be loaded into your printer, uh, particularly on a Bowden tube setup. I haven't modified it to fit onto a uh, direct drive yet, but any Bowden tube printer that uses the, um, the dual gear extruder that's like this one can have this device mounted to it and allow for continuous filament feeding. And I'm going to show you here in a minute how that works. So the first thing to do is uh, your filament loads as normal. Uh, let's just pretend that this one is coming off of the spool that's running out. Uh, so it just feeds down through this small hole, down into the uh, Bowden tube or through the extruder into the Bowden tube. The next one that's going to come in behind it, there's a, there's a small opening behind the, the first filament you pull back on the little tab underneath and that allows it to grip the filament and push it against the other filament. Then this little swing arm comes up and provides tension with a spring underneath. So the idea is once this filament gets to the end and runs out, this the next one gets pushed over and pushed down into the extruder and it continues to print as, uh, as if it never saw the spool run out. So I'm just going to let the video run and you'll see how it works in just a few moments. So now that the one uh, or the original filament has already uh, entered into the Bowden tube, and the screen one you see would be considered like the new filament, well now that is the um, the one that's going to run out since it's only got about a foot on it, as you can see right here. So now what I'm going to do is just feed another line, and this is coming off a fresh spool down into the system. Give it a, a little bit of slack and now it is primed and ready to go to just continuing printing until the print's finished. 